Hey everybody, I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Welcome to the channel and welcome back if you're one of our subscribers. I'm glad that you could join us today. I have this beat up set of nightstands that I'm gonna be working on today. It's got three drawers. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. It's got missing pieces and I didn't pay any money for them. I got them for free or I would have left them behind, but I think we can do something with them. I like a challenge, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting this piece out with very little direction, so I'm just going to start by fixing what I know needs fixed, and we'll go from there. I'm going to get everything nice and clean before I go too far, because these are so filthy. Let me just give a quick public service announcement. Please stop taping your furniture closed with duct tape or packing tape. It doesn't end well for your furniture. It really doesn't. If you need to keep it closed for a move, wrap it in saran wrap, wrap it in a blanket, and then tie it off with rope. Just stop taping your drawers, please. You'll thank me later. Is that a piece of cardboard I'm using to apply my Bondo? Yes, it is. Are there better tools out there to do it? Yes, there definitely is. Am I going to go buy one of those tools? Maybe, someday. But for now, my perfectly disposable little piece of cardboard is going to work just fine. Thank you. <laughs> My bondo corner did have a few divots in it, which I filled in with some putty this time and then sanded it smooth. And then the piece was prepped and ready for primer. I'm using Kills Restoration Primer for this piece. It is a good stain blocker and it's water-based, so it's going to clean out of my gun more easily. I did have a little bit of trouble spraying at first, but after a while I added some water and it made it go much smoother. Now you may notice that that top drawer is missing, and where is it? Well, I've decided to do something different with it. So I'm going to strip it down to raw wood. Now if you're looking for a tutorial on how to strip finishes off of wood pieces, this is not that. YouTube is full of plenty of tutorials for you if you want to learn how to strip furniture. 15 minutes doesn't seem like a long time until you're waiting to see if your stripper works. Then it seems like a long time. After removing most of the old finish and the stripper, I then had to sand the rest off to get an even finish on the wood. It wasn't the easiest job, but hopefully it will pay off. I'm going in with a light creamy color to give a wash over these drawer fronts. Not enough to cover up the wood grain, but enough to give it a little bit of color.
Now you'll notice that my primer is now gray. I tinted my second coat of primer with my actual paint color just to help me out so I wasn't going from white to black. This paint color is not a true black. I would say it's more like an ashy black. It's by Bare and it's classic Noir. I've used it many times on many pieces, but it's very accessible to me, reasonably priced, and I keep going back to it. When I poured my paint into my hopper, I added a little bit of water, and since I didn't want to water down too much of my paint, I went with a little less than I probably should have because I just ran out of paint. I had to go get some more and mix it in with some water again, but that's not hard to do, and I'd rather do that than to have way too much watered down paint left over. Two coats of paint and some top coat which I managed to not film any of me putting on and I was ready to get the new holes drilled for the handles. I meaning my husband Andrew, he's a lot better with tools and measuring things than I am and I have given him that job and he happily does it. Thank you Andrew. All right, I've made it to the finish line. Not completely across the finish line, but it's in sight. And there's just a few little things I have to fix up, tweak, decide whether I want gold handles or black handles. I would really appreciate it if you'd let me know your opinion down in the comments. I really have been liking the black on black look, but then, you know, I like gold too. So I'm not sure which one's gonna win. I also ended up putting another wash over top of the other one because when I put the original one in, it was just too stark a difference. So I added another wash of the black, same color right over top of it. They're actually still wet. I did it like five minutes ago because I would never reassembled everything after it got painted to see that it was a little too much. So. I have to let that dry, I have to make sure it's all even and get it sealed before they're done. So I'm interested to see what you think of the wood panels. If you think it's odd, too much, you like them, let me know. I don't mind if your opinion's different from mine, just keep it nice. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's adventure. I look forward to my next project and I hope to see you then. I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Bye.